my name's Louise Renix. I'm Kimberly Renix. And we are the Golden Sisters from 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games. Today we're going to answer some questions from Glenboy Primary, Primary 7s, who have set up some questions for us. So Kimberly will answer one question, then I'll answer the other ones that have been sent. What is your involvement in sport? So I'm a full-time athlete and I'm still competing. Um, still try to travel the world and fight competitions, try to qualify for the next Commonwealth Games. Uh, I do a little bit of coaching and I also try and do inspirational talks to the next generation of kids. How did you have the courage to go into a club? Um, it was quite easy for me to go into a club because my mum and dad encouraged us to take part in sport and it was all different types of sports um, just because they want you to be fit and to be healthy and also it's good for socialising and meeting new friends. But by coaching I sometimes see that kids can be quite scared to just come into a new environment. So I th my advice would be that you go along to a club and you don't always need to participate straight away. If you just sit down, watch what the session's doing, watch what the coach is going and then maybe come back the next week and join in, in the session and always stay for a few weeks because it takes a few weeks to get to learn a new buddy and a new friend. How many days and hours a week do you do in your role? Um, so training for me is every day. You train in the morning and we also train at night. And then for coaching, it's a couple of times a week. And the same for when I'm giving school talks. Whenever I'm not competing and I can get into schools and do little talks, I'd say that's a few times a month we get to do that. Do you have a sporting idol? Uh, we both like the William sisters in tennis, but also I used to love when it was like at the summer time and it was tennis, it was on telly or if it was Olympic Games, I would just be watching all different countries, all different uh, um, athletes and when I was younger it was always the people that the commentators were saying were going to be the best, but as I've got older I like to read a lot of um, books the athletes have written or coaches have written and I take inspiration from some of their, their stories. So I actually like a, a, a lot of different people who are my role models. Did you ever think about giving up when you faced a setback? Um, there's been a, a few times I've had a few operations on my, my shoulder and I was out for a, a full year and in 2012 leading into the Olympic Games um, they can only take one person in judo for each weight and another girl got picked over me and it was really hard to pick myself back up but I'm happy that I did and I managed to get myself back up and back training and then in 2014 I became Scotland's Commonwealth Champion and my first gold medals so it was hard but it's always good to just keep trying. So how did you overcome those thoughts? Just by family. Like my family being around me and telling me that I was still good enough to get there and coaches saying that they believed that I could um, train and I could get that next medal and the next Olympics, just focus on that. So it was mostly family and friends and having my sister as my training partner, she always knows when to push me and when I need that little bit of rest to keep going. So I always say having a good support around you in a sport keeps you going. What have been the high points of your journey? Um, the high points is uh, traveling the world and getting to go to other lots of different countries that I never thought I'd got to have seen. Um, one of the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow was really, really um, special for having so much family and friends to witness me, me and Kimberly doing that. But also just the journey, just the journey. There is lots of highs of like getting new training kit, and um, going to different places in the world, and also just just improving, improving as a person that I can then take into the world of um, coaching and my working life. Who inspired you to get involved in sport? Um, my dad and my sister. So I started at the same time as my sister, but I was only four. So I was just there to run about and play on the map, but it was my dad always encouraging us to do our best. And then my sister always getting the medals and making me want to do better than her or get the same as her. So that always gave me that drive to do better because I always wanted to catch my big sister because she always got to go to the bigger events before me. 
for being older. What age did you start in your sport and how did you get into it? I was 11 years old and it was my dad and mum that took me along to the session. I was only four, so it was the same as my dad that took me along. Do you need to be extremely talented to join a sports club? No, because not all sports club is for a competition and if you want to just take part to do exercise then usually what happens is clubs will have nights that you come along, you train um, for your recreational reasons and then usually if they have got a competition group you'll probably train another, another night. How has Covid affected your involvement in sport? Um, it's been a bit harder for me because um, for doing judo, um, we weren't allowed to go on the mat and do as much of our sessions, but you just kind of adapt around the house and outdoors and try and do as much as you can, but you can't get the same hard training as what you get and air competitions haven't fully started back yet, so it's been a bit harder to, to get out there and train. For me, for coaching, then what's happened is we've had to do Zoom sessions, but not everyone's got the internet, so I've had to send um, some booklets and leaflets to people to have some homework to keep studying, and I've been applying for different types of funding and grants to try and get different teaching materials, such as bands that people can train in the house, dummies to throw around for the competition people, and also um, buying books to give everybody, because um, you've got to think of everybody in your group. You can't just think of the people that can get internet access because everyone doesn't doesn't have internet access. How has being a female in sport impacted on your role? Um, I think it's a good thing being a female in our sport because it's showing that women are strong and that we can we can do just as good as the men. But you do have some people saying that you you can't go as far or you can't do as as well. So. It just helps you pick yourself up and be a stronger person. Uh, for me, I just wanted to encourage boys and girls to fully take part in sport and exercise. But uh, there is times that some people just, boys don't want to train with girls and girls don't want to train with boys. So it's nice to have classes that is separated where the girls train with girls and the, the boys train with the boys. So thank you. Thank you and hope you enjoy listening to our answers. Bye. Bye.